so hello everyone after our last meme a lot of students asked me what are iwrs and ivrs systems in clinical research and a lot of people which i assume knew these systems were unaware so in this particular video we'll be looking at what these systems are and what are the role in clinical research as well as how they help in subject randomization and study drug management so without further ado let's start this video So the key focus area of this video is going to be what are IWRS and IVRS systems, what are the applications or use in clinical research, followed by how they help in drug management and IP dispensation, and the last but not the least, what are the regulatory requirements for these systems to be used in clinical research. So let's begin. So coming on to our first topic, what exactly are IWRS or IVRS systems? So let me tell you, the IVRS system is called as Interactive Voice Response System. So this particular system or technology was used prior to the internet era at clinical trial sites. So uh, using this particular systems, the trial site are able to randomize the subject via voice based system like phone calls. Okay, and this system is also further evolved to dispense the IP and track the supply. For example, whenever you have any kind of uh, issue, then you dial to a customer care number and whatever the system is automated there where it says press 1 or press 2. So that kind of system is generally an IVRS system. When it comes to IWRS system, so it is the next generation called as interactive web response system. This particular system came into provenance after the internet revolution and this particular system is playing an important role in subject randomization, IP dispensation and inventory management via a web portal. So using a computer and a web portal, you can randomize the subject. Last is, a lot of people might also ask what are the interactive response technology or the IRTs. So this is a collective term for voice and web response system. In this particular system, it is used in a lot of industry and in clinical research it is also referred as IXRS system. So whenever someone says that uh, there are IXRS system, it means a combination of IVRS and IWRS. So now let us look at what are the applications of the systems in clinical trial. Now let us see what are the application of this IVRS and IWRS system in clinical trial. So there are four primary areas or application which are critical for the systems to be used in clinical trial. First is randomization. Now a lot of students are unaware of this particular meaning of the word randomization. So randomization essentially means that it is a method to assign the trial participants in a clinical trial which may be in a control group or in the treatment group and what it does is it reduces the election and accidental bias so whenever a study is conducted so there are some people assigned to the study group and some people are assigned to other treatment as well as placebo group so in order to avoid the bias or any particular investigator saying that this particular subject should receive the ip so that he has an advantage so to reduce that kind of bias you imply a system of randomization and to make it truly random, we imply systems or technology such as IWRS or IVRS which are not under the control of any kind of investigator. So it randomly assigns the participants to a treatment or a placebo or a control group and they get respective treatments. So randomization was the first and primary application. Second thing is the patient management. So using IVRS or IWRS technology, you register the subject then you randomize the subject and you get a unique code okay this unique code helps the trial coordinator to know what kind of dosage are to be given so it will give you a unique code which does not match with any other type of code and there is no confusion or overlapping and this essentially helps in patient management and drug dispensation next application is the drug supply management so in the IWRS system, there is an information regarding what is the level of inventory at the particular study site and what are the study doses to be given. So whenever you use this particular systems, the IWRS or IVRS, they help in dispensation of the study molecule or the IP 
they also help in complex titration calculations for example some in uh, diabetic study or other kind of study and they also calculate dose and accordingly dispense so there is also a component which reduces improper drug dispensation as well as dosing errors so that is a critical application of this systems and finally whenever uh, you are in a clinical trial you tend to go as much as uh, system integration as possible because this particular data should able to review during a single uh, system interface therefore this particular system has also been integrated with clinical trial management systems okay as well as the electronic data capture systems okay so that the data of the iwr is directly flows and the and we know what kind of treatment uh, the subject has been given what is the unique randomization code and how the subject is progressing so there is also an integration of the system so these are four critical applications and as i've said that iwr systems are used in drug management so we'll go deeper into drug management what exactly happens into drug management so first of all when it comes to drug management the system is able to handle complex and variable dosing okay so there are clinical trials where the dosings uh, change over a period of time and this systems are automated to handle that second thing is the automated assignment of unit kits for the ip are also given to the subject so the system remembers what kind of treatment the subject is on and accordingly dispenses ip in the same time the system also keeps track of what is the stock of drug supply and whenever the drug supply is at a lower threshold it will automatically trigger the ip request and the ip will come at your side so that you don't have to remember what number of kits i have next is this particular system also creates an auditable system trace which can be able to review in case of there is any error in drug dispensation and finally if there is any a or sa situation then emergency unblinded unblinding can also be helpful and can be managed through this system and this will play a critical role in subject safety so drug management is also one of the critical aspects of iwrs then regulatory compliance so whenever you use a system or a technology there is a certain level of compliance required by the regulatory authority may that be cdseo or us fda now let us look what are the regulatory requirements for systems in clinical research so first and foremost whatever the regulatory compliance are required for uh, systems in clinical research it usually complies with 21 cfr part 11 so it is 21 code of federal regulation part 11 by the us fda so what it state is that a particular system or technology uh, to be compliant in clinical research should have a level of system based on the regulatory compliance level for electronic systems and their technology compliance for clinical trials so you should follow the 21 cfr part 11 guidelines which iwrs system do next is the audit trail so whenever there is a system used it should be able to export the audit trail and which creates a level of transparency and compliance with the auditable guidelines and ip management the third critical aspect is authentication for regulatory system a flexible authentication and authorization system allows the restricted access to that particular system and that system can function seamlessly and do its primary target so when it comes to regulatory requirements it should comply by the guidelines such as 21 cfr part 11 as given here it should create an audit trail so that there is a certain level of transparency and auditing is easier and also the system is able to tell what kind of authentication it allows for smoother flow of data finally if you are looking to continue progress in your career and to explore a new career then our friends at clinical aim research institute have an excellent advanced certification in clinical research where they tell you all about clinical research right from the basic along with the fundamentals of clinical data management and pharmacovigilance so these are the numbers given do give them a call it will be an excellent life-changing uh, course for you and do uh, 
follow those particular numbers and contact them so i hope i was able to help you in understanding what iwrs systems are and you were able to learn the exact meaning and role of them do subscribe to this channel as it will help us in growing as well as helping other students and making a difference in the career of a lot of students so thank you for watching this video